Okay. Hey guys, so I asked you on Snapchat this morning if you would rather see a cover effects video or an e.l.f. palettes video. And surprisingly, most of you said e.l.f. so I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna go through each of the palettes, show you how I use them, talk about them a bit, and you know, that's how things usually happen. So let's just... So I'm gonna start by using the contour palette. I have talked about this a bit before, but I figured I would just go through all of them. So you get a bronzer shade, um, a contour shade, a somewhat kind of shimmery highlight, and then this kind of um, banana-y color. So you've got three matte and one slightly shimmery. So if I am gonna bronze and contour, I like to think of the bronzer as being the transition color of the face. So I like to bronze and then do um, contour and the rest. Now, I don't think that this bronzer would be, <laughs> I mean, if you are anywhere near this shade or darker, it's obviously not gonna work for you. Um, I don't know if they have other colors that you can get this in, but um, hopefully they would bring that out. But who knows? So let's bronze. So that's one side done, as you can see. This has no definition, and then this side is a lot more chiseled. If you are around my skin tone, I think this is a really awesome palette, um, especially for the price. Yeah, I mean, as you saw, it wasn't exactly difficult. I just kind of smeared it around my face, and I think it looks good. So I'm gonna do the other side, because it would be stupid not to. So like I said, I really like this um, bronzer. I think it's just very easy to work with. Um, I know a lot of people are like, you can't contour with a warm shade, but um, you can bronze your face in a way that does give you a little bit more definition on the cheekbones, and that's without using an ashy tone. So um, I think as long as it is a suitable shade, like the um, Too Faced, what are they called? Chocolate Soleil? Is that what the bronzers are called? Anyway, those are fairly warm, right? And you can use them to bronze contour. So I'm just throwing that out there that I think that you can. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this shade and I'm gonna be a little bit more precise with it with that same brush and just kind of chisel in down here as well as under the jaw. And then I might run a little bit through um, up towards the hairline as well. So I won't know how this is showing up until I edit it, but um, on the viewfinder it's looking fairly um, dramatic, which is what I want, because I want to show you guys, you know, how it actually shows up. So I forgot to do this. Did I forget this? I don't know. And when I first start using um, contour, I keep it back towards the ear. The guide would be to not bring it past the outside of your eye. But obviously that depends on the structure of your face because not everyone's the same. So I do keep it mostly back here. And once I've worked most of the product in, then I might bring it down towards the cheek a little bit more. So with the bronze and contour shades, um, both very easy to work with. I think if you are around my skin tone, these are both gonna be good colors. You might want to go in with this very lightly first, and it's going to look darker on one side because I have more sun here. You know, basic concepts of light. So yeah, I think they're great to apply with a more dense brush as well as a fluffier brush. And I do like the bronzer because I think if you use it on a big fluffy brush, you can just kind of like dust it around and it just kind of livens up your face a little bit. So um, I really like both of those shades, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how I use the highlight shades. So with this banana powder, I like it because I think it's a little bit less stark yellow than some. It does have a slight kind of peachiness to it, I think. That's how my eyes see it anyway. So the round pan is the Anastasia banana powder from the contour kit, and then obviously this is the e.l.f. one. Um, and I don't, again, I don't know how it's picking up on camera, but this one is just a little bit peachier. 
So I think if you have a hard time using the Anastasia one, um, or if you just find it a bit stark, this one might be easier to um, blend out. So with this, I like to set my under eye with it because I just think it's a great shade for that. And also, I like to take it down the sides of my nose to kind of blur that a little bit. As well as, I like to kind of dot a bit in the center of my forehead just to create a little bit of light in there. So I kind of do it in a diamondy shape, I guess, but a circle would do. And then again, a little bit on the chin. And this is also a really good color to use if you have kind of messed this up because you can just trace it underneath and it will kind of clean everything up. If you do want to go stronger. And then with the somewhat shimmery shade, it's kind of hard to explain. There's no um, kind of glitter particles in it per se, but it does have a slight sheen to it and it catches the light. So um, I like to use this down the center of my nose. I think that this is good for down the nose because it is just a sheen, it's not glitter. Um, so I think with a very thin um, little swipe down the nose, it can make a big difference. As well as you could dot a bit on the end if you wanted to. And um, also here. So yeah, I love this to set the under eyes, create a little bit of light around the face wherever you want it. And then this to just kind of get a hint of a highlight without shimmer. I have said it before about this palette. I think it's awesome, especially for the price. Um, I will say don't wipe, don't wipe it with rubbing alcohol because you'll take the, um, you'll take the, uh, the thing off. The thing will come off. All of their makeup is vegan. They do have a few brushes that are not synthetic and they are cruelty free. They're logical harmony approved. And this one is also good across the cheekbones to kind of brighten up that area a bit, but I do want to show you the highlight or illuminating palette too, so I don't want to um, put too much on. So moving on to the next one, this is the blush palette. So when I look at this, these are fairly similar, right? And then this one does have gold flecks in it. And then this to me looks like a bronzer, but I think it's more of a peachy terracotta almost. Um, I will just quickly um, swipe the three pink ones on my fingers so you can see the little bit of difference. So as you can see, this one is a much more um, cool kind of powdery baby pink. This one, it's a little bit more fuchsia-y. And then this one is much kind of peachier of a shade. And this is the one with the gold flecks in it. So I'm going to start by applying this one. And they are a little bit powdery, so just make sure you tap off your brush before you go crazy. So I do like this shade. I think it'd be quite wearable for anyone. I think it's probably a bit more wearable than this one just because that is a little bit lighter and more powdery. And then I might add a pop of this too, just because I can. And then with the bronze shade in this, this is what it kind of looks like. Why don't I put some of that on as well? I do think they could have picked more varying shades. Um, I think this one is good if you want to use it as blush for a very bronzy look. You don't want to have like that pink blush. You would rather it just be bronzy. Um, I think this one would be awesome. I think the glitter in this is a little bit pointless because it doesn't do anything. Um, and then these two, I think they are fairly similar, but I just don't see the purpose in this one. Um, maybe for very pale skin, that would be good, but I just, I feel like they could have done a better range of blush shades. But they do apply well, I think they look nice. And obviously for the price, if you do wanna just mess around with some blushes, it's a pretty good one. And with all of these, you can pop the pans out so you can make your own little quad of whatever you wanted. And then moving on to the illuminating palette, I think this is the most recent one of their palettes. 
so they are all a little bit shimmery. They're not like glittery per se. Um, let me just show you quickly. So as you can see, they do, they are very pigmented. You get a lot of payoff. Um, and I really like that the colors are all different enough that I think you would use them all. Logical Harmony actually did a great kind of comparison review on this versus the Hourglass Ambient Light Palette. Um, obviously very different ends of the price range. So I will link that below if you want to have a look at that because I found that really interesting. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you how I would use these. So with the whiter or slightly yellow toned shade, I like to apply that just here. I don't kind of do the C shape, I don't know why, but that's where I like to put this one. And I think putting that just there really kind of lifts your cheekbones um, because it's kind of so pinpointed. It's not just like an all over glow. It is kind of like, you know, highlighting your face versus contour sense, not in a shimmery sense. So I'm just gonna put that there. And I, again, I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but it does reflect some light. It's just not super shimmery. So I really do like this. Um, if you want a more glowy look and not a shimmer, you want it to look more natural. I think this is a really good one. Um, and then I'm going to apply a little bit of the bronzier shade just to kind of like the top of the cheek area. These are quite powdery products, so you will get some fallout. So just make sure that you tap your brush off before you smash it on your face, you know? I'm also going to apply the bronzy one right here. I think if you're a bit darker and you want a bronzier highlight, this would be a great one. Um, and I'm just going to keep layering the crap out of them. This pinkier shade. I'm gonna put kind of around the front of the cheeks. If you do have a lot of texture here, and I do, but I'm just trying to kind of demonstrate, avoid this because the shimmer is gonna pick it up a bit more. And then with this shade, this is the last shade I haven't used yet, I am gonna just kind of like pinpoint highlight some areas again. So I did use the one from the contour palette, but I do just wanna kind of show you this one. And I think that they all are very similar to Hourglass Ambient Light shades, but I don't think you can use them the same. So, um, like I said, I will link the Logical Harmony comparison video because I think she made some really good points. So obviously I have put a lot of products on my face, but I did just want to show you them. I think these all are very wearable shades. I think if you are just kind of getting into highlights or you're interested in the hourglass um, ambient light powders, but um, maybe you don't want to just jump in and spend that much right away. I think this is awesome to kind of get to grips with it. As, as I said, they are shimmerier than the um, Hourglass Ambient Light Powders, but I do think it's just fun to kind of play with these. And I think it would give you an idea of the colors that you might be interested in, um, which suit you, where you want to put different things, and just if you would get much use out of them. So I think these are all very wearable shades. I think that they would suit a variety of skin tones, probably not super dark skin, um, but anyone up to like medium or tan I think would be okay. Um, if you are a lot darker skin tone wise, let me know how you've liked any of these because I am always obviously curious as to how they work for everyone. So yeah, I really do like this one. So I think out of all three, it's kind of hard to choose. If you are someone who likes to contour or you're going to try and get into contour, go for the contour one. If you are really into highlighting or you just want to start getting into it and don't want to spend a ton, I think this is an awesome kit. Um, probably my least favorite is the blush one just because I think that they could have picked a better variety of shades, but that's personal preference. You might love these colors. But the one good thing, obviously, is the price. You know, even if you did buy all three, you could just pop pans out and make your own, you know, ultimate palette out of these. So you could have a contour shade, you could keep the bronzer in there, you could swap out these two if you wanted to for a blush and a more shimmery highlight. So I do think that it's awesome that these pans just pop out from underneath. You literally just like push them out 
it's not like trying to get them out with a pair of tweezers like some pans are. So then you can just kind of pop them, you know, pop them out and make your own ideal palette. And then they do just snap back into place afterwards. I'd say I like the contour and the illuminating ones equally. And then the blush one is probably my least favorite, but I do still think that it's probably worth having if you do have a little bit of money to spend and want to make your own ideal palette. Um, and then I guess the only thing left to cover is how they last. Um, I have found that the contour palette lasts really well. Um, it stays kind of fairly strong on your skin and doesn't go patchy. The same with the blushes, especially if you put as much blush on as I have right now, they do last really well. And the illuminating palette I think also lasts well too, but you can really um, go quite heavy on some of the shades. If you do want it to kind of stay very strong, you can build it and it's really buildable. So I'm really a fan of all of them, honestly, and especially for the price, I think that's a, like a steal. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any of these palettes, definitely let me know what you think below, um, how they work for your skin tone, your favorite ones, ones you hate, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.